So uh, I went to college in Chicago, and uh, the first year I was living in Indiana with my family. And uh, so I would just go to school and then come back. And I wouldn't go to any parties or anything like that. I would just hang out with my classmates in class and that was it. But then the second year, I moved into the city. And uh, a good buddy of mine I was going to move in with told me, oh, we got another roommate. His name is Shu. <laughs> and I, I thought that was a weird name, Shu. But again, I went to art school. So, you know, I went to school with, uh, I had a classmate named Martian. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other, you know, names that are uncommon. So I just thought, oh, okay. But he wasn't an artist. He was actually a chemistry major. So I was like, okay, so Shu, the chemistry major. I was like, all right. And then when I met him, he turned out to be a Japanese guy. And his name mm. was Shuichi. And Shu was short for Shuichi. Okay. Uh, but everybody totally, like, butchered his name. Like, you know, they're like, your name is Su Susi? Shushi? Sushi? <laughs> Susie? So he's like, no, shoe, just shoe. shoe. Everybody knew shoe. Like shoe. Yeah. So he also said, you could call me Shu Chan. He said, that's what my friends in Japan call me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, cool. Shu Chan, Shu Chan. And like, we just, Shu Chan, Shu Chan, like all day, you know? <laughs> and then I remember my other buddy, uh, Frank, that lived with us, is like, hey, dude, like, mm -hmm. stop calling him so much. Like, mm -hmm. leave the dude alone. Because, you know, Shu Chan was awesome. Like, mm -hmm. I got, I got along with him really well. Mm. He didn't really speak much English, mm. but he was a chemistry major. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. He could write and read well, mm. you know, obviously well enough to go, come to college here in mm. the US. But speaking like a lot of Japanese, yeah. even a lot of our Japanese friends, like they, they learn how to read and write, but mm. when it comes yeah, to when, practicing yeah. speaking, they don't. So it was kind of like the same with him, but he wasn't a shy person. So oh. we talked all the time. <laughs> Like all the time, we just held like dictionaries. Oh. So he had he had a little dictionary. This was like, I don't even think. Eventually, he had like a Casio Denshiji show, like the electronic dictionary. Oh, you didn't have them. All Japanese but, people no, we, used we to used, have them. We used to use that. Nah, we just used books. Like he would he like book dictionaries, mm. and like, and we would just talk for hours and hours and just in stitches, just laughing our asses off. Because mm. Shuichi like had a good sense of humor and like you know he's. And he was genuinely interested in us and about the U.S. And he would ask us all sorts of questions. And, um, and I remember my, my buddy Frank was like, yo, like, chill out with Colin Shuichi and stuff, man. Like, you know, he's busy. He's studying. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, I guess to me, I didn't. Well, number one, I was a fine art student. So mm -hmm. my projects were basically painting and drawing and doing that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, which I, it, it was great. <laughs> but, yeah. but like I enjoyed it but you know the other thing is Shuichi I'd never seen this before but he would study uh, he'd do his homework he'd study for his exams while drinking you just drink beers oh I did that and too I, okay <laughs> I had never did that like if I started drinking that's it like mm -hmm. it was just no no concentration mm -hmm. whatsoever on anything other than just having fun so like uh you know, Shuichi would drink, and he, that's the first time I saw a Sapporo beer, you know? Mm, oh, you know, and I was like, oh, and he's like, oh, it's a Japanese beer. Mm. Yeah, he's like, you want to try? I'm like, yes, <laughs> I'll have another one, thank you. And uh, so, yeah, Shu, Shu, Shu Chan would always study and drink, and it just seemed like he was kicking it, but he was always studying. And, uh, and I remember uh, one day, oh, and like, we would teach him all sorts of bullshit, obviously, <laughs> like, we, I think we've gone over this before, where like for the most part, mm. at least in my experience, mm. uh, when Japanese people, when mm. they teach you Japanese, they don't want to teach you anything that's disrespectful or rude or right. any bad words. Mm, right. Depends on the person, obviously. Mm. You know, some people like, you know, it just depends. But I would say a great majority of people in Japan, mm. if they right. teach something to foreigners, they want to teach them something nice, not horrible shit. Which it was the, the opposite. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, growing up in Argentina, it, mm. whenever there was a foreigner in school, we'd teach them all sorts of bad words. Yeah, bullshit, it's a like, one. It's it, on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, we would teach, it was no different with Shuichi. We would teach him all sorts of, mm. like, super hood phrases. <laughs> you know, like. In Chicago, also, too. In Chicago, yeah. <laughs> and, like, and it was funny to see them coming from him because he's a Japanese guy. Mm. He was about like five three, mm. um, you know, and uh, we also had no idea how old he was. I mean, I never, I, I, still to this day, I'm not, I'm not someone that like looks at people's age or asks people their age. I just mm. kind of just talk to whoever. Mm. But later on, I realized in Japan that's totally a thing because mm. how you address someone yeah. is completely yeah. predicated on what their age yeah. is and in relation to your your age, right? So 
but again, we were in Chicago, none of this mattered. And, uh, you know, I remember we used to do this thing. We're like, if they shoot John, and he would come out, he'd be like, yes. And like he'd come out like, yeah. And that's, that's, that's why my, my buddy Frank's like, yo, you got to chill out, dude. Like, you know, but you come out, yes. And then I'd be like, oh, no, I was just going to, I just want to know if you were home or whatever. Like, you know, he's just like, oh, okay. So like, so anyway, we, we teach him like, you know, what's up? Like he would ask, mm -hmm. uh, like, again, like a lot of our friends, like, he's like, what, what is meaning of what's up? Mm -hmm. You know, and you're like, oh, what's up? Like, you know, like, hi, how's it going? What, mm -hmm. what are you doing? How's it going? Mm -hmm. And those things always tend to confuse mm -hmm. Japanese people when they're learning at first. Oh, yeah, of course. All the, yeah. Because Japanese has konnichiwa. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Like most people use that or ohayo. If it's, mm -hmm. you know, the first time you see them in the day, like at mm -hmm. work, you can say ohayo mm -hmm. at the yeah. stage at night. Yeah. But like that's you. It's just basically konnichiwa, ohayo. Maybe more informal is like domo, mm. but like there's like very kind of like it's boiled down to a few things that everybody uses. Yeah. yeah. Where here, it's not only regional, but it just depends on the person. So people are like, mm. "What's up? Mm. How's it going? How you doing? What's hanging?" Mm. It, it gets yeah. more and more complicated yeah. for foreigners. You're like, "What's ha what's hanging?" Uh, is uh, 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 like it's just what's super happening? confused. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh. know. A lot, a lot is <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> like, so. You know, so what's up is like it has nothing to do with the direction or what's going on on top of you. It's just like, how are you doing or whatever. So we had fun explaining those things to him and a lot of like Chicago slang. <laughs> and uh, and then I remember uh, one day, mm. this reminds me of the story you were telling me about mm. uh, the homie Den Shaotoko, mm. where he, you know, I, I got back home and Shuichi came out and he seemed very worried as well. Mm. And he was like, ah, uh, Felipe. Uh, it, it's okay. You have time to, for uh, I talk to you, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude. Mm. Like, what's up? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, I fear your anger. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You know, you you fear my anger? I'm like, what do you mean? And I'm like, nah, dude. I won't be angry at you, Shuichi. Don't worry, dude. Mm. He's just like, oh, it's ah. Uh, mm. Ah, and he was making these faces mm. and I'm like, well, hey, whatever, dude, mm. just let me know what's up. And uh, and he he came back with a, a phone bill, you know, like a paper phone bill. Oh, it's just back yeah, you in the did. Day, like Sprint, <laughs> AT&T back in the days, the physical yeah. phone bill. <laughs> yeah. And so he hands it over to me and I look at it and it's like something like $500, $800. Oh, oh right? shit. Yeah. And, and you know, and uh, I look at it. I'm like, "Whoa, dude!" And he's like, "Ah, oh. he's like, it's so I'll pay for it. I I'll pay for it." I'm like, "Yeah, like, I mean, dude, I didn't even own five hundred dollars mm, at nobody that time. Did like, at the time. I, no, not at all. So like, you know, I was what? I was like eighteen, mm. maybe going on nineteen. Mm. I looked at that. Like, I was working at the at the um, admissions office." At the school, the school, mm. and my paychecks were like eighty something dollar paycheck. <laughs> yeah, back in the days, yeah. And I, and every two weeks, and we we're like, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I see five hundred bucks. I'm like, hey, dude, like, <laughs> don't worry about it, because I can't help with this, you know. It's all you, son. <clears throat> you know, he was like, oh, you know, I, I'll pay for it. I'm like, yeah, no, mm. I, I can't. I couldn't help you if I wanted. I, like, I don't have five hundred dollars. Mm. And uh, and then you know, he kind of laughed, and he was like, oh, you know, and and he's like. Because, you know, he would talk to his friends back at home, mm -hmm. you know, like he didn't, I don't know if he had a lot of friends in Chicago. He uh, he had, you know, besides us, I mean, he hung out with us, but like mm -hmm. he had, he had some friends that lived in like Stromberg or somewhere like one of the suburbs. Mm -hmm. So like, you yeah. know, sometimes like on a weekend or whatever, like mm -hmm. he would, he would go and like he would come back the next week. But like mm -hmm. they were, they weren't really close that he could see them mm -hmm. very often. So he would just talk on the phone and he would talk to Japan. Mm. And he would just sit there, and then he was like, "Oh, he's like, ah, sometimes I have so much phone, I have so much fun on the phone, mm. talking to my friends, and I'm drinking, and they're like, dude, he just doesn't realize how long he's just, oh, he's yeah. just drunk well, and just I've talking." Been there. I've been, we all been there. We all been there. I think yeah. my most expensive one was like 400 bucks back in the days. Oh snap! Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Again, it, it was same thing. Once Girlfriend? you start talking to your friend and start drinking, uh, that's, yeah. that's an expensive call, man. <laughs> You're in a time warp. You yeah. have no idea where you are. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, dude, by the way, this is back in 96, 97. Mm. My rent, this is West Side Chicago, mm. was $91 a month, dude. <laughs> So, you know, Yo. like it, yeah, different times, dude. Yes. Also, I mean, sounds like a lifetime ago, man. <laughs> yeah, also that neighborhood, like mm. all sorts of gunshots at night. Like, <laughs> I didn't know because, like, I, you know, I grew up in Buenos Aires. So, like, I, I went there and I remember one night I'm going out. There was a, a White Castle, mm. uh, like oh, a couple I blocks from, from us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so it was like 11 or something and I was getting real hungry and I had nothing mm. at home. Mm. And I'm like, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go to White Castle, I guess. And as I'm in walking the out, of the night, it's like good yeah. time to go to White Castle now. Mm. Yeah, well, it's like the only thing that's open to. Not that many gunshots and, like, here, so. Yeah, well, I didn't even time. know. <laughs> I didn't even know it was gunshots. I just thought it was fireworks because I didn't grow up there. I grew up in Argentina where nobody had guns. Nobody my age owned a gun. Like it, things might be different now, but mm. like, I was gonna go to White Castle, and then my buddy's like, yo where do you think you're going and i'm mm. like oh i'm just gonna go to white castle he's like no you're not <laughs> and I'm like what do you mean and he's like you don't hear that and i'm like what the fireworks and he just laughed he's like get the f uh, back inside dude yeah. that's gunshots there's yeah. people shooting at each other dude you gotta be on diet yeah. tonight <laughs> yeah so so anyway which i mean that was also a crazy experience for shuichi oh because oh, yeah. shuichan was from oh, shizuoka oh he's from like, shizuoka yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's like, you know, more countryside Japan, like more chill. Uh, actually, I am from Miyazaki. And, um, you know, so that was must have been wild. That, like, I mean, he told us he would tell like his friends stories about like mm. Chicago and like the neighborhood and like things that, you know, that he went through. He got mugged once. It was also crazy. Again, like yeah. I opened the door and he was like, it was winter. And Chicago winters are really cold. It snows. And oh, it's, yeah. You know, it gets to like, you know, the negatives. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and so he's just standing there and he's just wearing a, like a, a sweatshirt. And he's just looking at me. And I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Like, what's up? I'm like, come in. And he's like, ah, uh, he's like, I met Seif. And I'm like, Seif? Who is, who's Seif? <laughs> like who's Seif? Is that a friend of yours? He's like, no, Seif, Seif. He took my jacket and my wallet. I'm like, oh, Seif. I'm like, oh, sh dude, I'm sorry. And he came in, and uh, At least one of my he roommates has sweaters is like, on stuff, man. Yeah, well, yeah, it was too cold for a sweater, but I, I mean, I guess. And it, we were about like six blocks from the train station, so mm. it wasn't that far of a walk, mm. luckily, right? But um. But yeah, poor Shu Chan. And so I'm like, oh, what happened? Are you okay? He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, he just took, mm. you know. And then one of my roommates is like, what do you look like? He's mm. like, you want to go get him? <laughs> and Shu Chan's like, what? He's like, no, no. <laughs> and he's like, no, no. What does he look like? Mm. Like, let's go get him. Mm. Let's go jump in the car. We'll go get him. We'll get your wallet back. We'll get your jacket. <laughs> got hurt <laughs> mad quick. Like, <laughs> got and, real at that and, moment. Yeah, huh? yeah dude. <laughs> And Shuichi was like, no, no. He's like, I don't want to I, do I don't want trouble. You know? <laughs> so like, I mean, I have thought, I, me initially, I thought it was a joke, but like, no, it totally wasn't a joke. <laughs> and I'm like, no, let's go. Like, we can get your stuff if you want to get it. And like, Shuichi didn't want to. He was like, no, no, no.